Good job, circle. Where does the cross go? Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like a star. It's a cross. Yeah. He's like, no, it's a star. Yeah. Here, look, it goes here. Put it in. There you go. It's a square. Yeah. He's like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Where does it go? Uh. Ruined it. <laughs> you gotta put it back on. That's the whole point. Huh? Oh, a lion. Do you see the lion? There's a lion on the bucket. Yeah, a lion. And what's that? Alligator. And what's that? What's that? Yeah. A lion. He says, yeah, yeah. And it's so cute. Hey, guys. So, um, I haven't vlogged much lately. Um, mostly because Grayson has gotten sick again. I know that's kind of the theme with little kids that get sick. I think I read an article that said that kids will get a cold a month. So we went to Toledo and Gray was sick and then we didn't go anywhere really in Toledo. We just stayed at my parents' house and so he got better and then he never got sick. Well, then we came back to Columbus and we went to a couple events. We went to story time at the library, we went to a cookie exchange and he must have picked up a cold there because he is sick again. And this seems like a pretty bad one. Um, he's got a really mucusy cough and a runny nose. Um, yesterday was, he was miserable. I've never seen him that bad. Um, I had to carry him everywhere. He wouldn't walk. He barely ate anything. Um, and we basically just sat and watched um, videos all day, Little Baby Bum or Blue's Clues. It was really rough. Um, he was up the whole night before, like every 20 minutes crying, and then he only took about a half hour nap, um, so it was really bad. Today, um, last night he slept through the night, um, he got up a couple times, but then he just went right back to sleep like I didn't have to go get him, and then um, he slept in until 8.30, so that was pretty good, um, but he didn't eat breakfast, um, and then uh, we were actually able to like, you can see the aftermath of it. He ate, or he ate, he read, we read like all these books, that's why they're everywhere. And um, we read, went upstairs and read some books and I got him dressed and his favorite, he loves this outfit because it's got a blue shark on it. He thinks it's Daddy Shark from Baby Shark. Um, and, but he was complaining some more and I was like, are you hungry? Cause he hadn't ate anything and barely ate anything yesterday. He was like, yeah, I do. He always says, I do. So I went and I took him and I put him in his high chair with all the food and he looked interested in it. But then all of a sudden he just started like coughing a whole bunch. And I think what happened was he had a bunch of like mucus. Like, you know how you, like, if you get a mucusy cough, like you have so much mucus in your throat, like if you're not blowing out of your nose. Well, I think he was coughing, and then he had, like, phlegm stuck in his throat, and um, it made him throw up. So he threw up all over his tray with all of his food and was crying, obviously, because that's traumatic. So we came over here to the living room where we are now. I have turned on Baby Bum, um, and I brought a plate of food, which is mostly gone now, over here so that he could try to eat something. I'm just worried because he's like not eating. Um, and I get it like when you're sick, you don't wanna eat, but he needs to eat. So he did eat a couple of pancakes and a banana and now he's having some grapes. So um, he is eating some. I'm gonna see if he'll eat lunch in a little bit here too. Um, 
and of course he's drinking milk no problem so even though he did throw up i don't think he has um i don't think he has a stomach bug i think it was literally just the mucus in his throat that was making him puke so i'm not worried about that but it's still no fun so unfortunately yeah he's not feeling well um we had a Christmas party that we went to yesterday morning, but he was just miserable the whole time, so we only stayed like an hour. Um, and I usually go to the grocery store on Mondays, but I didn't because he was so sick, so he's feeling a little better today, so maybe we'll be able to go because I want to get some things for this week. But other than that, yeah, we're just kind of hanging out, chilling. Gray's all over me, and Felix is sleeping. <laughs> so. Yeah, we're just kind of taking it easy these next couple days and hopefully Gray gets better fast. Um, Christmas Eve is a week from today, so eight days till Christmas, so we need him better by Christmas because that's no fun being sick on Christmas. What is that? A, a tunnel? D. Caterpillar? Is that his eye? I'm trying to figure out what he's saying. <laughs> so Gray took an okay nap. Mostly he had just a lot of quiet time, which he just laid in his crib, so I guess that counts for something, right? But he's acting better, so hopefully the worst is past us. Now we're playing. I come into the kitchen to find Grayson like this. He went into the pantry and got oops all berries out and is currently sitting there snacking on it. It's 4.30, dinner is in a half hour and he's decided, oh, oops all berries sounds good. Let's have that now. <sighs> I need to childproof this. Yeah, are you eating with salt berries? You're spoiling your dinner. So this little guy is doing loads, loads better. We were able to go to the grocery store and he did fine. And he is playing with his toys and not on me every single second. So he's doing really, really good. Thank goodness. I don't know if I could handle two days where he was just a mess. And other news. So last year I got this book for Grayson. Yes, I'm laying on the floor. And it's this Christmas song book and it like plays, you like push the button, it plays songs and it lights up. I got it from Meyer last year for Christmas. And it has stopped working. I thought it was a battery problem, so I like unscrewed this and put new batteries in it. So it has brand new batteries in it, but unfortunately it's not working. And I'm so sad about Andrea's too, because he loves this book. Um, and unfortunately we went to Meyer. we went to Meyer today. I'm laying on the floor. We went to Meyer today to like find a replacement of it. And they don't sell it anymore. They don't make that book anymore. The only book that they sell at Meyer that's even close to that is is this book. Um, it's the same company, but it doesn't light up. It has more songs, but it doesn't light up. And this is the only one that they have that's similar. 
So I'm super sad about it. I went on Amazon to try to find it so I could buy it off Amazon and Amazon only has it used. I don't really know if I want to buy a used book of that. And um, I even went on like the publisher, like the book publisher um, website um, to see like if I could buy it off of their website and they don't even list it. They only list the new Christmas book, not the old one. So it's really sad because Gray has like read this book like all year. Like he loves that book. He's loved it for forever. And I'm going to have to throw it away because it doesn't work anymore and there's no point in having it. So I'm sad. Gray was sad. He's over it now. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan, I just realized that was all <laughs> zoomed in. So sorry, you got a close up of my face. <laughs> what is that? Really? A log? Is that Felix's toy? So I have started putting this aquaphor um, lotion onto Grayson every night. Yeah. I don't have sensitive skin or dry skin or anything like that. If anything, in the winter, my uh, face gets a little dry, so I'll put like some face wash on it, but that's about it, and sometimes my hands too. Um, but Anthony gets really dry skin, especially in the winter, and unfortunately, Grayson got that from Anthony. Um, he used to just scratch and scratch his legs, and it, they would be all marked up. And I just didn't realize that he needed that lotion until like there were scratches all over his legs. And so my mom told me to use this um, Aquaphor ointment. Um, she said it's really good, especially um, if your baby might have a little bit of eczema, which maybe Gray has, or maybe it's just dry skin, I'm not really sure. Um, so I've been putting this on him um, as much as I can remember um, every night I do you know, I might skip a night here or there if I forget to put it on, but um, it seems to be working and helping a little bit. Um, if you guys have kids with dry skin, try using this, or do you have a different lotion or treatment that you use, let me know. Um, but this seems to be helping. Um, so yeah, it's just another thing I have to remember with Grayson. He needs sunscreen. I don't usually put sunscreen on myself. He needs oh, uh, lotion. I don't usually put lotion on. So it's just trying to remind myself like, oh yeah, he has different needs that I do. But I think that's all for today. Not much went on, <laughs> I guess. Um, this week is going to be busy. Um, we have to pack because we're going to head to Toledo for the holidays. And then right after that, uh, we are headed to Florida for some vacation time. So it's a lot of packing that we need to do. So I'm sure I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. You know, it's, I always get very stressed about it. and I have to pack for myself and for Grayson. So it's a lot of work but it's so worth it to go on vacation. So I think that's all. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Greg, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye.